Uh, my name's Raj Patel, and I'm a research professor at the Lyndon Baines Johnson School of Public Affairs at the University of Texas at Austin. So authoritarian populism is more than just, um, you know, big man says uh, this is how it's going to be. Uh, authoritarian populism is a cultural phenomenon, but it's an agroecological phenomenon and a gendered phenomenon. Uh, so a good way of, of thinking about that is thinking about food. Uh, if you look at authoritarian populism in the past, um, Germany had ideas of blood and soil that uh, marshaled ideas of nationhood uh, and of uh, you know, tradition of who it is that should do the cooking and who should do the farming and the kind of authentically national food that should come out of the soil. Uh, Italy has the same thing with Mussolini in famous pictures about Italy must be ruralized. And this idea of patriotic food is alive and well and killing people today. Uh, for example, look to India, where uh, Muslims have been killed on suspicion of eating beef. Um, now, the, the, uh, the, the wave of Hindutva um, inspired fascism in India um, is a, a way for authoritarian populism to manifest uh, you know, in, in, in the sort of body of, of Narendra Modi. Um, but it is a diffuse cultural phenomenon that is also a phenomenon that's about who should do the cooking and who is allowed to, to kill certain things and what, what things can't be killed. So Muslim men who, who are suspected of eating beef can be killed, but cows cannot. Uh, under this, uh, this, this is very really bizarre, but nonetheless sort of very sort of expansive and comprehensive uh, approach to understanding what rural life should be and what it should not be. And so if we're interested in pushing back, if we're interested in emancipatory rural populism, then it can't just be, well, you know, that people should eat what they want and believe what they like and can't, can't we all get along? That, that, that's a rubbish response because it doesn't uh, recognize that uh, this, this rural populism comes from uh, the ashes of a neoliberal project that has eviscerated rural soil. Um, you know, and so if, if we're interested in transforming and, and actually re-engaging as, uh, as an emancipatory project, we need to think about uh, relations between humans and extra human life. We need to think about uh, you know, gender relations. Uh, and we need to be far more sort of understanding of the ways that religion uh, and religious organizations uh, can actually be you know, pushed and repurposed to, to, you know, to demand things like gender equality and a respect for all life. Uh, and that kind of populism will have its own gastronomy, uh, but it won't be a gastronomy of you can't kill this, but you can kill him. Um, it will be a, a, a much more, I, I think, sort of nuanced and much more capacious uh, gastronomy than, than uh, the, the kind of fascist gastronomy we see in India.